Hello, everybody. Welcome to the gallery. We have Ohio Mike with us tonight. Um, Ohio Mike, you're known for your original art, like making, you know, one of one pieces. What inspired you to create your first zine series? First of all, um, thanks for having me. I'm extremely grateful to the gallery and to the curators back there for uh, hosting this talk with me today on um, Super Bowl Sunday. Um, you know, I'm a live artist dabbling in graffiti and uh, street art, sticker art. Um, for the last few years, we've been focusing on painting. Um, but since the pandemic, I've really been focusing on my first um, original love, which is working with ephemera, working with um, items of personal value in book arts. Um, so here's a, a piece that I created that is uh, made of ephemera collectibles. I've got about a million pieces in my archive. And so this is uh, one of the first books that I made. Um, and so these are relatively original one of one pieces, um, hard to get rid of, um, hard to part with. Um, I've got 10 of them for my art library um, series. Very and nice. so, thank you. And so they, you know, come from a variety of sizes. This one's like a sculpture. This one's wow. like sh showed at the sculpture center. Um, sort of a hefty duty guy. So we've had a few of these. And then, um, of course, my magazine series. This is just things I pick up. This is from a flight that I took in uh, uh, a few years ago to Puerto Rico. And... This was on the, the, the in-flight magazine. So got a chance to sort of graffiti use my um, receipts and ephemera from this to create these one-of-one -one pieces. Great. So, so a lot of them weren't really available to you know the public. And so now um, I've created a zine series mm -hmm. to sort of allow folks easy access um, with this first zine series edition nice. of 24, um, Ohio Mike after COVID, yeah. Would you say, uh, is there a theme to the to the zine series? You know, good question. The theme is really like uh, total nonsense. So <laughs> this is, uh, you know, uh, meanderings, different uh, thoughts and ideas. Some of, some of which are like, you know, famous in my mind. Uh, <laughs> just give you an example of, uh, you know, frogs in my brain. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a little boy, I used to collect um, frogs and catch frogs and and different um, animals from the creek in the neighborhood you know, back in Ohio. Uh, and so, you know, my window well was full of frogs and I used them as samples to sort of study them. And I feel the same way about ideas and people. Um, they're just frogs in my brain. So little illustrations of things like that. Love it. Um, what was your process like in creating the zine series? Well, um, so there's 24. Uh, there was originally going to be 12. Um, mm -hmm. But what happened was, uh, having never really created a reproducible item, I didn't know how to do that. So mm -hmm. I had to learn on the fly. And the first one, uh, Edition Zero, the Master Flat, is mm -hmm. something my wife brought home for me. She brings me little things that are bound <laughs> so that I can graffiti and tag them so um this is all original art i put all these pieces in and when i went to go copy it i realized i was going to have this this was already done so i was going to have you know uh only single single sided pages uh, um so when i redid it i created another master flat so this is zero mm -hmm. and then this is double zero double zero is already uh sold it's in oh, the collection wow. of charles Guerrero. but um this piece here is all of the back sides. So this is all the back pages. Um, so the negative edition actually has twice the number of items in it of, of original art. So, oh. so the negative edition is actually $42 and the one through 11 positive edition is $24. Oh, wow. So is there anything else about the, the negative numbers that we should know or <laughs> like that it's just twice as much yeah i mean twice as much original art uh as the positive edition 
Um, all of them are hand embellished. All of them have their own quirks and bends. Um, it's the same uh, story of nonsense. So it's basically <laughs> something I call image fiction. Okay. It's not really, um, it's not really uh, you know, a linear story. I you like kinda, that. Kind of sure. draw, pick up your own, um, pick up your own narrative as you go through. Nice. Um, so I, I saw that pre-orders are, are closed at this point. Um, how many are left and how do the folks at home order your zine? I mean, you know, for those at home back in Ohio Nation, peace to all <laughs> my fans out there, um, you know, it's uh, can be intimidating to, to collect art. I do sticker packs um, and all you have to do is DM me to get a hold of some of these uh, handmade stickers. Um, same, same goes for the zine. All you have to do is DM me, um, and I will reply. This is maybe backwards in your frame, but it says Art Ohio Mike, Art uh, at Art Ohio Mike. It's my Venmo, so you can just Venmo me right. um, for the cost of this zine. The negative editions are forty-two, uh -huh. twice, twice as many art, um, and then <laughs> twice as many, twice as many art. arts. <laughs> Uh, they actually, here's an interesting bit. So I usually throw in a bunch of stickers with them as well, um, handmade stickers, but each zine has a one-of-one one art piece that's frameable. Oh, great. Um, and it's actually modeled after the, one of the pages of the zine. So there's various, <laughs> so this is like art that's, does, it's sort of based off of a photocopy. Um, and this one is uh, called I Would in the Shape of a Cat. Um, and that's based off of the page in the zine with I Would in the Shape of a Cat. Wow. Um, and so I Would in the Shape of a Cat is uh, one of those ideas that I came up with on a hill in New Paltz a long time ago uh, when a cat came up to me and said that said I would. Um, <laughs> and that was really the answer to one of the secrets of the universe. Wow, I'm, wow, it was that, uh, were psychedelics involved there perhaps? Never, never, no. Um, you know, a lot of my inspiration is just drawn from the mysteries of the universe, but uh, that's a good, good question. Well, I, that's all, that's great to know. Um, and I'm so glad you, you stopped by tonight to talk about your work. It's my pleasure, and you hear it's good to see you. Heard it here first, folks. Twice as many art <laughs> with the, the negative series, Ohio Mike Zines. You can also check out my paintings. Uh, these guys are still available at three of these large ones, uh, largest paintings I've ever made, um, and a few other items. And if you're interested in my work, you can, you know, uh, DM me or you can, you know, catch me on Venmo at Art Ohio Mike with zeros and ones. Great. Well, thank you, Ohio Mike. Peace, peace. Wait, wait, don't touch it. Oh.